More now on our breaking story this lunchtime. The Israeli military say they've recovered the body of one of the hostages who was taken captive on October the 7th. Ilad Katzir was taken from the kibbutz near Oz. And today, Ilad's sister Carmen wrote a post on social media criticising the government of Benjamin Netanyahu. In it, she said, we received some devastating news. Ilad was brought to Israel tonight after being murdered in captivity. An IDF spokesman will tell you about the brave rescue operation, which was indeed brave in the terrible reality they created for us. This is also a consolation. A lad will have been buried, have to be buried in near Oz. We won't stay in uncertainty. IDF spokesman will not tell you that the Prime Minister, the Cabinet and the IDF have no idea where most of the kidnapped, the alive and murdered are held. They won't tell you either that they have no way to protect the kidnapped, even when they know where they are. Ilad was kidnapped from his home in Neroz alive and well and filmed twice during captivity. He could have been saved if a deal would have happened on our time. Our leadership is cowardly and devoid of political considerations and therefore it didn't happen. We can go live now to Tel Aviv. NBC correspondent Hala Garani is there this lunchtime. Hala, thanks so much indeed for joining us. Some very powerful words there from the sister of this man whose body has been recovered. Are they being echoed by other families of hostages still currently in Gaza? They really are. We're seeing more and more protests against the government of the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The families of hostages, frustrated to say the least. They have some reached really the end of their patience with the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying not enough is being done to get their loved ones out of Gaza. I have a little bit more to add on Elad Katsir. He was retrieved, we understand, in that raid from Khan Yunus, 47 years old. Uh, he was taken with his mother after his father was killed in the kibbutz by Islamic Jihad militants, according to the IDF. His mother was released in November as part of a prisoner swap. Unfortunately, as you mentioned, he was filmed twice by his captors, uh, which means that he was alive for several months, at least. We don't know the exact circumstances of his death. Uh, it, it, it eventually, uh, his uh, time in captivity led to this tragic uh, outcome, and his body has been retrieved and taken back to Israeli territory. But what we're hearing from his family, Matt, uh, is what we're hearing from the family of pretty much all of the hostages. They are grateful for the IDF for having conducted this raid, but very critical of the leadership in this country for not doing enough to get their loved ones out. Halagrani in Tel Aviv, thanks so much.